What a screw up. All that work? We've got one more day to figure this out. I think this would be our first failure. This is a frustrating build. This is VAT19. We use our curiously awesome gifts to make awesomely big videos. Each week our team has to figure out how to pull off a new idea and try to create the next hit. This could be awesome. Air hockey is normally played on a table that's seven and a half by four feet. But we're VAT19, so I'm challenging our team to make a table that's 10 times larger. And if we're successful, one of my employees will face off against me, the boss, in a super personal game of Never Have I Ever. Let's do this. We're gonna build a small scale test of what hopefully will be our giant air hockey table. So how do you build a giant air hockey table? I don't know, but we have to figure it out in a week. We're gonna use that little tiny bounce house blower to blow air through it. The holes in the pegboard will hopefully be the right size and distance apart from one another. Not, not doing. Not doing it? The air's coming out, it's just not being channeled through the whole thing. I think maybe this blower is just too puny. So, a bigger blower. I don't know, or smaller holes maybe, so all the air doesn't just escape in one spot. We have a real air hockey table, so we're testing what we think might be a good puck on this table, see if it flips. It's not bad, it's better than our table. If we have to go smaller holes, there's not, it doesn't even feel like much air is coming out. We were worried it was just too much air escaping, so we covered up most of the holes and left just a few of them open, and we're gonna see if when we pump air into there now, it'll put enough force out to make a uh, bigger disc flow. That's it. All right, that's easy enough. Buy some pegboard, buy a lot of tape. Sounds like a plan. Trying to think of a design. So we can kind of figure out what materials we need. This thing is 24 by 12 feet. We're gonna build a big frame for a big air hockey table. So we're gonna finish framing out this entire thing. We'll be able to flip it over then, attach the pegboard for the top. Before we can do the pegboard, we have to tape a lot of holes closed on the pegboard. When there's too many holes, there's not enough pressure. Something kind of satisfying about this, but it's also pretty tedious. Only six more sheets to go. That's <gasps> yeah, a big fan. Normal air hockey tables have tiny fans. This is not a normal air hockey table. <laughs> it's so dusty in here now. I'm gonna drill holes in a lot of this wood so that air can flow through it. It's making a mess. So I'm rolling up this plastic and stapling it on our frame like a canvas. It'll be the bottom. We'll put the pegboard on top, and then we'll hook up the air and we should be in business. Construction's coming along, air hockey table's looking awesome. We got a bunch of people here from VAT19 to help us lift the table, and then we put all the legs on, and it's standing. It's looking good. This'll be how the air enters the air hockey table. Using duct tape for its intended purpose. A little slower. All of that anticipation, flip the switch, and nothing. Well, that's disheartening. Should we drill more holes? Bigger holes? As it turns out in our prototype, we taped way more holes than this. So, you're telling me they made a prototype. Mm -hmm. It worked. It did. But then they didn't consult the prototype mm -hmm. to tell us how to make the real thing. Yeah. So we made it wrong. Yep. Well, that's a bummer. Got a feeling this is gonna take a little bit longer than we'd hoped. All right, well we have to uh, create more pressure so we have to cover up more holes. They need to be even. The quickest way to do that is to undo all the tape and try another method. What could I possibly be upset with? What a screw up. <laughs> it's not a screw up, it's part of the learning process. We got a different idea. So we're gonna put spray adhesive on the back, lay a plastic sheet down, and then poke holes. Two days. This took us two days. I don't know if we have enough hours or manpower to pull this off. 
we decided to glue the middle panels down and now we have to take them up. So me and Danny are on top of the table and we're scraping glue and pulling out nails. And I look at Danny and I say, wouldn't it be funny if one of us fell through this whole thing? Okay. <laughs> My booty. So there's a big hole in our thing now that we gotta fix. More drama. It's a minor setback. Fantastic. Great, now I have a, a giant hole to repair. We're a little behind, so we just gotta try to keep getting this connected down in a way it's gonna stay. Hopefully it works, I feel like we're close. Doesn't look like it's working, at least with these pucks. I don't know if we're gonna get this done. I think this would be our first failure. We have one day left to get this working, and the only thing I can think of is maybe get another blower to see if we can get more pressure. We're all exhausted, so we're gonna get some rest and hopefully come back tomorrow re-energized. While Danny's out getting another blower, I'm gonna focus on making the table look like an air hockey table with all the lines and the bumpers, and then I have to make things that we need to play, like the puck and the strikers. Got some good action. So now we have a second blower. Hopefully this gives us enough pressure so we can actually start playing. What do you think? Or it's the best it's been, for sure. It might be there. Now that we have enough pressure, we just have to figure out what to do about the puck. I tried a floof lid first, and it's working really well. But it's cracking. It's fast, but I, 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 I totally broke it. We need a big puck, but bigger usually means heavier, and we need it to be light. Not too light that it lifts up and flies around whenever we hit it hard, so it's tricky. All right, so I just got back from shopping for different types of discs. Some are weird. So this is a plastic ring, it's pretty durable. Pretty decent size, but we'll just cover the top with something lightweight. Ah! Salad plate, tough plastic, but it's light. Oh, salad plate, salad plate, salad days. Frisbee. Uh, not great. Well, we can't find a puck at the store that works. Uh, so, I'll try to make my own. Maybe that'll do it. It's getting better. I think, you have work. I think you guys have got it. Turns out, just a circular piece of wood works best. After trying a lot of things, and trying a lot more things, it finally works. Let's see Danny and Jamie get at it with a good old game of giant air hockey. All right, the rules are after every goal, the person who has scored on has to answer a never have I ever question from their opponent. First person to three points wins. Let's do it. This is real, you're going down, old man. I don't know, judges? Woo! Did that score? All right, it's a goal. It's one? <laughs> yes! Never have I ever taken a picture of my own poop. Yeah. Oh! Dude, what? What? There's a little bit of a strategy, like if you can hit the puck short and make him have to run up around the side, if I can hit it back quickly enough, I can score. No! No! That's two, folks! You know, Danny spent a ton of time building this thing, and I'm literally beating him at his own game. Never have I ever been naked in my office. Been naked in my office? Yes. Been naked in my office. Here? Here. Oh! All the changing <laughs> all the changing areas were closed and I was wet and needed to get out of them clothes. You jerk! You can get it. You can get it. <laughs> no! no! You idiot! Oh, come on! Crap! It's hard to score. You have to knock the puck on either side of the table to tire out the other guy. Unfortunately, that tires you out too. 
Come on! No! Oh! I'm on the board. Okay, cool. Um, we can do this. Never have I ever blamed a fart on someone else. <laughs> <laughs> you look so ashamed. Who was it? One of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Ooh! Whatever it takes! Injury! I'm gonna injure him, that's fine too! Put him in the box! Whatever it takes! Get it! Oh! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! Okay, this is it. Final minutes. Oh, Jamie! Micah Salvatore! Go! We are the champions! Woo! I lost. All right, well that was a ton of fun to play. Check out all of our jumbo products and hundreds of other gifts at vet19.com. You might want to cut camera for this next bit. How do you feel? Comfortable? Ah! Vet19.com.